Hello there, back again for a bit of magnet fishing in a new destination. The sun's a bit bright. I'm going to try and. Oh, there. That's a bit worse. Yeah, so I'm just at a new location. Um, some good signs already. Like, uh, just from walking up to the side, there's loads of uh, pieces of metal and bits and bobs, but there's actually a big. I don't know what it is. Look, I don't know if it's some kind of cast machine or parking ticket machine. So I'm going to have a go at getting that out later. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good day, nice weather, so um, I'll get crack I'll get set up and we'll get ready to go. We've just got the one bridge there. But if you just go past that bridge there, there's another one. So obviously we'll do we'll do here for a bit. And obviously see what we get out of here and then we'll probably move up. But um, it's a nice little area, it's ideal as well, because um, you can park just here and obviously I can just magnify straight away. So it's a good little spot. Oh yeah, just to update you as well, if you've watched my previous videos, I did pull a ring out. Um, I've just had it back. It, it's silver, but the the diamonds are in it are just like a glass, and the the white thing is just like a plastic thing. So it's a silver ring, but not worth anything. So hopefully next time. Also as well, new real holders. These cost me 10p each. Um, from if you go to B and Q. You'll see that they've got these full of rope and obviously look for the ones that are empty and ask them if they'll sell them individually. I mean, I'll go in for 10 pence each from a local B&Q by me. Um, but it's worth asking the question instead of trying to untangle it. So, for 10p, can't moan. Too sure what that is. That's my first scooter. Sorry, oh, sorry about language. <laughs> yeah, um, 
that come up as well. It's got a metal bar in it just there. I have no idea what it is, not the foggiest. Piece of plate with a, a grinded hole in the middle of it. Metal bar and a bit of a bright lever. Steamer. And a padlock. I didn't throw it as far as I wanted it to, but it's landed on the top of a, that big piece of metal I spoke to you about earlier. And it is, see if I can get a big bit of a picture of it, as you can see. See the blue just there? That's got peony, so I think it's a parking machine. So, yeah, we're going to have to definitely try and get that out. Even get this parking machine out. I'm not going to try and take this out obviously with my magnet because it's got concrete on the bottom and I don't really want to snap my string because um, it's going to be quite heavy so I've got an industrial uh, strap for the HGV so I'm going to try and anchor that around it and try and pull it out that way. Yeah, back again, I'll probably show you better this way. So, there, look, as you can see, I've got the P, and I've just got the big lump of concrete up to here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is definitely gonna be fun.
Right, I'll show you where I'm at. As you can see, parking machine just there. I've actually got these piles of the concrete up now. Um, I was going to pause this video for a bit and I'll come back to you once I'm obviously a bit closer to getting it in. Ooh. Well, that was good fun. I want to thank that bloke just up there who's just walking off. Um, he did give me a hand putting it out and it is what we thought it was going to be a parking machine. Whew. That was good fun. Um, Right, so we've got I mean that's what I was making it so heavy. That's just pure all this part here is pure concrete. That's what I was making it so heavy. Um They've had a crack of cutting it there, don't know why. Um so that part there would have probably been off there. Um, yeah, it looks like they've ripped all the insides out of it. Literally everything's been ripped out of it. Um, we did find a memory card. I've got a funny feeling now it's underneath here. It's from Warsaw. How do you make your right? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna see if I can pull this out. Let's put this camera to one side for a second. So this part here, they've had a grind it here and they've smashed crap out of it from down there. Um, I don't even know if he's actually come out. Um, I can't pull it out. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but there's no money. I'll, sh I'll, I'll shut this turn and quickly show the front. Um, so it's a, it's a card reading one. They've li just literally ripped everything apart out of it. Um, but I, will, I am going to see if I can get that out before I find the tap man and to come and collect this. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'm up by going to that bridge in a second once I caught my breath. Thank you. So that was a that was a good find. Um, I did manage to obviously move the cash machine to one side. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring the place yet. I'll just ask the tap man to come and collect it. Um, but I did find the memory card that I mentioned and uh, a pound coin. Um, so I'm just going to start on this bridge now and have a have a go down here. Hopefully, put some more good finds like down there. Another one of them uh, BT cash boxes. Umbrella, and that could come up with it as well, some kind of a uh, shell. So I've just pulled that out, I'm going to have to open it to see what's inside of me.
Yeah, and it's completely empty. It's just like a tablecloth or something that's just been wrapped up and chucked in for the fun of it. So. <clears throat> Scooter. Let's see if we've got any good finds down there as well. Catch you in a minute. So, so, so um, on the way to the next bridge, as you can see up there, as I've noticed, there was a bag. Uh, uh, bag inside the water, so I've just pulled it out. It's gonna have a quick look what's inside of me. Yes, always remember try and keep your gloves on at all times, man. You never know what's in these waters, and you never know what's gonna be in this bag either. something in there. Can't get the zip open. What does that mean? Oh, there's stuff inside. So we've got a shirt. And this water stinks. Oh, we've got a cup with someone's uh, Honda keys in there. So this is definitely um, a stolen bag. 100% stolen. It's actually got a 10 pound reward if you found a number and reference the code on there. So I might try and see if obviously I can ring them and see if I can hand the, hand the goods back. You know, none of it's going to be any good. Looks like another t shirt. <laughs> bag of tea bags. Some gloves. Chocolate, just because you got hungry. Oh, there's more stuff in here. So we've got a lot of paperwork that you can't really read anymore. something in there but I've got no knife and I've got nothing to cut it out from with. Ha, I'll use these keys. On a spray. What I understand though is he, this was actually floating on top of the water, so I don't understand why somebody else hasn't folded it out or 
obviously reported that there's a bag in here. But if there's anything any valuable in here before that isn't there, wherever it was, had some kind of a Honda. Definitely a hold Honda key. Right, then, we'll make our way up to the bridge then. Now, what? Well, it has been a really good day today. So, we've got parking machines, scooters, bags. Not a bad day. Um, yeah, so it's been a good day. I knew, there's gonna be, I knew it was going to be a good day today. Oh, there's another one of my finds. I'll just quickly turn the camera around and see if you can see it. Just inside there, where the, just inside the green moss, there's a, uh, a bike. Only problem is, I've left my grappling hook back in the car, so I'm going to have to try and pull this out with a magnet. that bike. Um, a Polo girl bike. Looks like it's been there a while. There's another one. And that looks like kind of bars have come out of one because you've got the group there. So I've got my first fishing lure. Let's move over this side a little bit, to this area now. Another bike. It's a bike graveyard. <coughs> I think that's it for here now. Um, let's go and uh, have a look at all the finds I've found. So uh, on this on this bridge here, obviously found looks like one of them line prop thingy my bobs. Spanner, gold piece of the metal, first fishing lot, and a key. Also as well, at, at this bridge here we have managed to pull out three bikes, three kids' bikes. Them through there. Uh, yeah, I'll catch back up with you and me on the next bridge. So that's me finished for today. Just thought to the pile out ready for the tap man to come and collect. So obviously we've got the bike, scooters, Kina. Obviously the big find was the uh, parking ticket machine. So uh, it's not been a bad day. Uh, like and subscribe and keep on watching. Thank you.